Hi there. Let's talk about two by one aspect ratio. When making a movie, it can be a struggle to decide between the two most common widescreen aspect ratios, 1 to 85 by 1 and 2 to 35 by 1. For anyone who's ever felt this struggle, there is an ideal middle ground. I'm talking about the 2 by 1 aspect ratio, which has seen a resurgence in the last decade. An aspect ratio is a video's width to its height. For example, pre-HD TV had an aspect ratio of 4 by 3, meaning they were 4 units wide and 3 units tall. Whereas modern HD TV have 16 by 9 aspect ratio, meaning 16 units wide and then 9 units tall. In cinema, the most popular aspect ratio used are 1 to 85 by 1 and a wider 2 to 39 by 1, which is often interchanged with 2 to 35 by 1 or rounded up to 2 to 4 by 1. But recently, a lesser known ratio has started to take hold, the 2 by 1 aspect ratio. Today I'm going to go over how filmmakers like Fincher are using this aspect ratio to tell their stories in a unique manner. So what's the deal with 2x1 and why is it showing up now more and more? Have you heard of Vittorio Storaro, a three times Oscar winner? Storaro is being the DP of some films you may have heard of. In the late 90s, it was deemed by the entertainment industry that 16x9 ratio HDTV would be an ideal format to contain both the narrowest aspect ratio like um, 4x3 all the way through to the widest ratio like 2 to 39 by 1. Storaro's concern was that 1 to 85 by 1 and 2 to 39 by 1 on a 16 by 9 screen would appear too awkward requiring letterboxing and cropping. So he proposed a new universal film format. Storaro dubbed it Univisium, which translates as unity of images to unify all theoretical and television movies into a single 2 by one ratio, meaning the aspect ratio is twice as wide as it is tall. Now according to Storaro, and I quote his own words, any movie, no matter how big or small, successful or not, will after a very short life on a big screen have much longer life on an electronic screen. So let's compare 2 by one to the ratios we already know and love. 1 to 85 is known for being a ratio that is taller than the other widescreen ratios. This makes it ideal for movies that want to focus on characters and dialogue along with taller subjects like um, let's say dinosaurs or taller buildings. Dramas and comedies have historically used 1 to 85 but due to how versatile it is, any other genre can take advantage of it. Whereas 2 to 35 is wider than it is tall, resulting in an aspect ratio that can better show up environments and vistas. This makes it very attractive for stories set in greater open landscape or outer space. As a result, many action films, science fiction movies, and historical epics tend to be shot and presented in 2 to 35. So while 1 to 85 can sometimes be too tall, the 2 to 35 is also sometimes too wide. The 2 by 1 aspect ratio can provide us with a frame that takes advantage of its width without sacrificing its height. Many films lately have adopted the 2 by 1 aspect ratio. Some notable movies from the last 10 years have been shot and presented in 2 by 1 aspect ratios. Unlike the familiar 1 to 85 and the 2 to 35. The type of movies in 2x1 vary greatly in genre, from action adventure to dramatic horror to even um, period dramas. One of the most successful films of the 2010s, Jurassic World, happens to also be shot in 2x1. Season DP John Schwarzman and director Colin Trevorrow were interested in shooting in 2 to 4 by one but executive producer Steven Spielberg liked 1 to 85 since he used it in Jurassic Park and The Lost World to make sure those big bad dinosaurs were in frame. But Schwarzman and Trevorrow still wanted to keep the epic width of 2 to 39 by one just so we can take in the vast expanse of island and surrounding jungle, whilst also featuring the film's 
taller subject. If there's a place you've ever noticed to buy one, it's on your TV. David Fincher was the executive producer for the Netflix original House of Cards. While they could have stuck with the traditional 16 by 9 aspect ratio as seen on most TV shows, the show uses 2x1 to emulate the cinematic look, featuring close-up and wide shots in equal measure, without losing the height of 1 to 85 by 1 or the scope of 2 to 39 by 1. Stranger Things has also taken advantage of 2x1. Series DP Tim Ives has said that he wanted to make a show that was more cinematic than what um, TV audiences normally watch. This is all fueled by 2x1 um, wider frame, producing light letterboxing on 16x9 um, television, giving audiences the impression of what hype score an event. If you want to find that medium between capturing drama and environment, the 2x1 aspect ratio just might be the ticket. More movies are now keeping the hype of a tall cinematic aspect ratio with a scope of a wider one. And TV shows are revoking the look, um, feel, language of the theatre experience. The rise of 2x1 has just proven how forward-thinking Vittorio Storaro really was. As you approach the shortlist for your next project, maybe you should consider 2x1 aspect ratio. Kindly don't forget to give me a sub and also hit the notification bell icon to get notified of my newly posted videos. I will see you in the next one.